Hello everyone, I am Captain Isa Ahmed Al Mutawa, manager of the monitoring and inspection in Dubai Civil Defense. Uh, it is a department under the strategic and governance sector, the major general sector. Uh, before I start, and on behalf of His Excellency Brigadier Ali Al Mutawa, I would like to thank all your excellencies for letting us to have the great honor being with you all. And uh, a special thanks to the organizer for the uh, pre uh, pre uh, prestigious uh, event uh, today. Uh, today, what I am going to speak, uh, I think uh, we have great opportunity to strengthen our relationship as Dubai Civil Defense with our stakeholders in terms uh, of exchanging knowledge, sharing information and innovations. Before I start, I was wondering if someone could imagine how many AI tools we have used to generate Lieutenant General Rashid Al Matroshi video. Anyone, any idea? I will answer the question. Actually, we have used three AI tools to generate Lieutenant General video. The first AI tool it was uh, GPT-4 to generate or to generate the context. Then we have used applications such as Synthesia and MoveU to create the avatar. The last tool, it was Midjourney, where you just have to write your prompts and it will change your prompts to images and picture. The idea that what we use to do in days and hour with AI, we can do the same in seconds and minutes. Back to our subject. Today, I am going to talk about our project, Dubai Civil Defense Readiness, and I am going to talk about the very beginning of our initiative and from where it started. At the beginning, we took different courses, and in this courses, we learned how to combine between emotional intelligence and artificial intelligence, and we learned how to get more benefits from those two elements combined. They gave us different examples about the leader companies in the field of search engine and how those companies have maps which is consist with all countries using their software. And based on the data gathered from each country, they will understand or the AI will analyze the data to understand the behavior of each country with its society. And what they will do next, they will launch their marketing campaigns targeting each country with its society, behavior, and needs. Those companies, when they implemented this strategy, they found or the profit margin increased up to 90%. So we, as Dubai Civil Defense, consider to take similar strategy, but with different goal. Their goal was to increase profit, to sell more products, uh, but our goal to, say, uh, to ensure security and safety. So we plan to take advantage with all the data we have to ensure safety and security to our society. And how we did that, that's what I am going to explain next. So as we can see this main screen, or we can call it the container or the dashboard, this container contains six years historical data related to Dubai Civil Defense fire incident. After we gathered the data, the AI tools analyzed the data and it gave me multiple features which I am going to go through one by one. For example, here we can see the average of six year of time respond and we can see for any specific year so simply the ai tool give a clearer vision to our commander or leaders to understand where is their organization standing in terms of critical kpis the next feature, as we can see, the most popular causes of fire as an average of six years and for any specific year. As you can see, if I change from 2023 to 2022, the causes of fire will change. So here, 
as we can see, for example, the most popular causes of fire, electricity and uh, gases, uh, kitchen fire incident and etc. The third uh, feature, the most popular facilities with fire incident on, in Dubai as an average and for any specific year. And as we can see all, it gave me like the most facilities with fire in Dubai civil defense, high rise building, uh, building under constructions, warehouses, and so on. And in this feature, we can drill down to see more details related to that fire incident, such as stakeholders, time to extinguish the fire, uh, water usage, and so, and so de uh, more details. The last but not least, statistic of the casualties. And here as well, we can drill down to see more details related to in which area they get injured and under which fire station responsibility, who was the commander of that fire incident. As far as we know, as much as you uh, gather data, as much as you will get an efficient result from AI. The last feature we call it game changing for Dubai civil defense. And I am going to explain why and how, the why and how the most two important elements. We in Dubai civil defense always had two challenges. Challenge one, in terms of awarenesses, we are talking about the population around more than 5 million people living in Dubai and compare it with the number of our employee in Dubai, our number of, of employee is way, way less than the population. So to aware all those people, it will take years and years to accomplish. Challenge two, those five million people came with 200 different languages. So to aware all those, it will take years and years to overcome. But thanks to AI and our stakeholders' effort, such as Salah, Dubai Police, Dubai Statistic, and others, now today we have the solution, which I will go through it step by step. So after we gather the data, and after the, uh, the AI analyzed the data, the AI categorized Dubai heat map based on area and based on the average of fire incident in each area. So now we can understand the most critical area in Dubai based on the number of fire incident that have happened in that area. So for example, I can see this area X, the most critical area based on average of fire incident. And I can drill down to see why it is most, why it is critical. For example, we can know the people, number of people living in that area, their nationality, most uh, cause, uh, uh, the most popular causes of fire. So here the AI gave me advantage to understand each nationality living in Dubai and what the most behavior which led always to the most fire incident in that area. So if I understand all those elements, I will provide the suitable me method to, pre to prevent similar fire incident to happen in the future. So after I understood all those elements, simply I just have to click on the SMS message. And based on the most popular causes of fire, I will choose the uh, suitable uh, method. Uh, for example, how to prevent perfume fire incident, how to prevent uh, electricity fire incident, and etc. For example, I will choose how to prevent uh, perfume uh, fire incident. Then second uh, part, I have to choose the language. And I will choose the language based on the most nationality living in that area. So for example, I will choose Chinese. Then simply, what should I do? I just, the context will generate automatically. Then I have to click on the SMS message. And here we can see, for example, the uh, video. I think it is not connected with the sound. The guy is speaking in Chinese. Then all audience in the targeted area will receive an SMS message in their mobile phone targeting 
their languages the most behavior which always led to the fire incident as a result and after we implemented this strategy we saw the awarenesses kpi went so high and the most popular causes of fire in each area went so down and as a result today we can aware million of people within a second and as a result today we in dubai civil defense have five different avatars which can speak the most languages on earth around 180 languages the idea what we use to do in years today with artificial intelligence we can do the same in seconds finally the rapid advancement in artificial intelligence will require staying up to date with the latest developments selecting ai tools will require very careful consideration of information management privacy security and ethical implications we all do believe that the concept of an illiterate will change before a person who doesn't know how to write or to read is called an illiterate but today an illiterate person will be a person who doesn't know how to deal with artificial intelligence and we do believe that who will owns data will own future thank you very much